Hey guys, welcome back again. Today's video is about screen mirroring Android devices on all operating system using a tool called Scrippy. Scrippy is a free open source alternative to all the best screen mirroring software that requires users to shell out a lot of money. This application provides display and control of Android devices connected via ESP or over TCP IP. It doesn't not require any root access. It works on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. A quick overview of the features of Scrippy. Does not require a root available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. No app is required on phone. A high resolution mirror. Type using your computer keyboard. Interact using your mouse. Works with USB or Wi Fi. Keep in mind that this app needs strong internet connection if you are going for the wireless option to prevent blinking or slow movement. Otherwise, it works very quick by using USB cable. If it is still slow with USB, that's mean you need to check your cable study. Before we begin, pre-requests for screen mirroring. For screen mirroring apps to work, it is necessary that you turn on the USB debugging located in the Android developer option. To enable developer option on your Android device, head over to your Android setting about phone. Scroll down and tap build number five times. Go back to system setting. You will now see developer option. Scroll down and toggle USB debugging. How to install Scrippy on Linux and view the phone screen on PC with USB. First of all, we need to install Snap. If you already have Snap, that's good. Type the following commands. sudo apt update. After that, sudo apt install snap after that we have to install scrippy by writing this command sudo snap install scrippy And we finish, you just need to open Scrippy by command or looking for it in your apps. How to view the phone screen on PC via Wi-Fi. We need to install Android tools with this command. Or if it doesn't work, try this command. Connect the laptop or PC and smartphone with the same Wi-Fi. Plug in your ESP cable and type this command. Write this command. You can locate your Android device's IP address in setting about phone IP address. Now remove the ESP cable and launch Scrippy using command. This is it guys, enjoy the tool and have fun playing your games and other stuff.
how to install Scrapy on Windows and view the phone screen on PC with USB. Let's start with download SDK platform tools zip file. You can find the link in the description. Extract the zip file. Connect the device to your PC with the USB cable. Now right click on the file that was extracted and choose Run Windows PowerShell. There are three commands and one of them work on your Windows. Just keep trying one after another until you see that is connected to your device. That happens because of the different version of Windows. After that, go to this website and download the latest package of Scrapy. Extract this file under the same file of SDK platform. And choose replace the files. And we finish here. You just need to click Scrapy and enjoy the tool. How to view the phone screen on PC via Wi-Fi In order to use Scrapy with Wi-Fi, you must do the similar steps as you use ESP But if you have already used it before, then follow these steps Go to the platform tool folder, right click and open the PowerShell window Type ADB devices If that doesn't work, change the first part of ADB As similar as it worked for the first time for example, ADB TCP 45 to enable Wi-Fi debug mode. If you do this correct, then add this command, ADB connect device IP address 45. Replace device IP address by your phone IP address. You can locate your Android device IP address in setting about phone IP address like mine. Remove the USB cable and launch script using command. And this is it. Enjoy the tool and have fun playing your games and other stuff. How to install Scrapy on macOS and view the phone screen on PC via USB. First of all, we need to install Homebrew. Go to the Homebrew website. I will leave the link in the description. Copy this command. Open the terminal and paste it. It may take 20 to 25 minutes. It depends on your internet and laptop. After that, enter the command Bro install Scrapy and wait for the installation to complete. Now plug in your Android device using the USB cable. Allow ESP debugging confirmation in your phone. Enter the command Scrapy. Oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I forgot to install Android ADB tools. I should have been installed it before launch Scrapy. Put this command to install Android platform tools and wait for the installation to complete. After that, launch the app by writing Scrapy on terminal and enjoy the app. I will put other videos to show you how to mess with Scrapy, like changing the resolution, using the keyboard and other cool things to do.
how to view the phone screen PC via Wi-Fi. In order to use Scrapy with Wi-Fi, you must do similar steps as you use ESP. But if you have already used it before, follow these steps. Connect your device to your PC and allow ESP debugging confirmation. Open terminal and write this command to enable Wi-Fi debug mode. Then add this command, adb connect device IP address and four files. Replace device IP address by your phone address. You can locate your Android device's IP address in setting about phone. Remove the USB cable. Now let's script using command. And this is it. Enjoy the tool and have fun playing your games and other stuff. If you face any problem, don't hesitate to comment. I will try to help. Thanks for watching. See you next time.